Hello gamers, this is Flamin' Gaming 7 and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, the Tower of Doom. Last episode we actually got to the top of the tower and saved Spawny all under our no spark level ups and no skill orb usage restrictions. Today we are starting the tower over, going to do every battle. I don't know how to know which battles I've done because we're only at 35% completion and I want to get to 100%. Maybe it just doesn't let me do the options I've already had and there used to be one. There was going to be one here, but like I've already done it. I don't know. Maybe it's just that I need to get all the characters and stuff. But regardless, our restrictions are now over. And I'm not going to... I'm going to let us level stuff up, don't worry. I guess we can go for this... This one? I don't know. I don't know... I don't know exactly how it works or how we up our completion. I think it's just by collecting all the characters and sparks over multiple runs through the tower. Not by doing every battle. Alright, let's see what our team... What what has the tower granted us as our team? We've got Rabid Mario, Rabid Peach, Bowser, and Rabid Rosalina. I don't usually use Rabid Mario, you know that about me. But I'll make an exception. I can use him in the tower, because why not? He's fun. It's not like we can upgrade our sparks or anything, so this should be a fairly simple decision. We got Pyrostar, Oozer Master, Aqua Dash. I think I'm going to replace that with Electro Ganon, and just leave it at that. Not like we have many strategic options at the beginning here. Oh, it's just those. I can do this in like one freaking turn. This is nothing. Move it, stupid Goombas. Alright, Rabid Peach, I think, is going to have to be the one that stays back here. If I can get... If I can get some punches in on these barrels... Hmm... What can Rabid Peach hit from here? I know it's not necessary to do this in one turn, but I kind of want to. Is she able... She can hit that, but that doesn't hit the eye. She has no way of getting close enough to hit the closest eye. Maybe if she goes here- Move it, stupid Goombas! No, she has no way of hitting any of the eyes over there. If she goes here? Okay, she really, really, truly does not have a way of hitting any. I could do some shenanigans to get her up here as well, which could be really good. Uh, I say I stop overthinking it, and I press the jump button. What I could do... Hmm. Alright, I'm going to move here. So now, I can still get a team jump in with Rabbit Mario. Pull up, push him up here, whatever. Get him up here. Do whatever he does up here. And then, because of the way stairs work, I can still get all the way up here. Now, I really shouldn't be reckless and get hit by a bunch of barrels. Nah, now that I think about it, that's not really an option because we can't heal easily. I'd really like rather that not happen. If Rabbit Mario's here, I want him to be able to hit that eye on the right as well. No, oh, he's still attached to the cover. There we go. I think that's only possible if he goes over here, but then he's in range of getting hit by one of the barrels. That doesn't do much damage though. Although it is a splash barrel, which will knock him out of bounds. At least I think it is. Yeah, that's splash. Okay, so we'll get knocked out of bounds, and it'll deal a little more damage. Rabbit Peach can heal that, though. And then Rabbit Peach and Bowser just hit the other two. This is such an objectively bad idea. There is one enemy on the board right now. No, there's a few Goombas here. There's two Medics, I think. Where's the other one? There's one up there. Okay. I'm gonna be not stupid. Fine, fine, fine. I will be not stupid. Pow, pow, pow! Whoop, pow! Oh, he bounced into the other eye over there. What on earth are the chances of that happening? Okay, then, I think we can win this in one turn. Oh, I don't have enough range to hit that far one. What about Rabbit Peach? Ooh, range is an issue. She does have an oozer she could summon, but that's just- the oozer's just gonna go for the enemy. Electro Geddon isn't gonna do anything. 
Rabid Mecha Koopas. Yeah, no, those aren't gonna do anything. Yeah, fine. I guess I'll just have to not win in one turn. Like some sort of loser. Hopefully it's like doable to take care of this enemy. I mean, Rabbit Peach can just heal us, and the Medic's not going to do that much damage to us, but still annoying. Nice crit. That's just not going to work. Well, then I guess she's just going to go over here. Go for this eye. And summon a Newser, because why not? Ooh, maybe now she'd be able to use her shot, actually. Ooh, that would have been cool if I thought about that. Alright, now... We wait for that. That was really eventful. Now we quickly get a healing, which heals us all basically to full. And then we stop being ridiculous, and we go and win. Oh, I didn't think it was in, in range. Okay, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bow, bow, bow. Nice and easy. Should not have taken us that long. <laughs> Coin Blitz. I could probably turn the volume up a little. Not that it's that big a deal, but I probably could. But I can't, because I'm kind of gaming right now. Switch! Should be Bowser because he's got a big chunky hitbox. Bum, 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 bum. Can I can I even get up there? I guess you can team jump. Hold on, get over here. Ooh, there was some good stuff up there. I wasn't sure if that would be worth the time investment, but that was a good few coins. <laughs> Level up. I learned earlier today that I think it was throwing some coin is just a normal phrase. I was talking to Kagra and she's like, yeah, that's just a thing we say, you freaking northerner. Why, northerner? Why is that weird to you? She didn't say it like that, but <laughs> she did point out the fact that it's not a northern thing, I guess. And um, I, I just think that's a very strange phrase. I might be remembering it wrong, honestly. I can't say for sure. It, it sounds like some kind of cool gangster slang or something. I don't know. We got two sparks from this. Heck yeah, we're doing this one. Another Darkness Eye Destroyer plus a bunch of Goombas and a couple of Stooges to look out for. Only a, like four or five eyes I can see. I think just five. Yep. I they I think we just stay with the same team from last time. Yeah. I see no reason to change. That was really sad. That was really sad on my part. That that should not have happened. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna try to throw the goomba on the other goomba. I'm just gonna kill them. That's easier. I think I need to murder everyone to make up for that. This is so ridiculous, because how does this work? How does he just punch through things? But you see, I don't want to do that, because then he'd die. I'd love to do something like this, but like also hit the other stooge and the far barrel. And I know I could just dash the Goomba with my allies, but you see, I don't want to do that. I want Rabbit Mario to get redemption for that, because that was embarrassing. I don't want him to get hit by the barrel either. I need to redeem him! Okay, I can hit everyone like this. It may not look like enough damage to defeat the Stooges, but burn attack. Boom. Perish. Pow! Oh! Uh, that could actually be good. That could move Bowser and Rabbit Peach forward a bit. Okay, not really. Oh, that's really bad. Rabbit Mario, <laughs> you mucked things up. And he can't move after attacking because I don't have that upgrade. We can't reach each other. So we're stuck over here. Cool. Coolio. That would also hit that barrel. And I'd like rather not do that. But I have no other way to, of destroying this eye this turn. And I may as well. 
I'm not that worried about blowing up the barrel. All the Goombas marching their way forward. March of the Goombas. And Stooges. There we go. Okay. Rabbit Mario, you're going to kill all of the Goombas. Could I get- could I actually get him in a position where he can kill all the Goombas? Hey! We're gonna forget any sort of, like, actually playing the game and we're gonna- <clears throat> We're gonna try and do that. Oh, yeah. That's juicy. Pow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what the heck? Rabbit Mario's absolutely insane. Now, that has just completely made it impossible for us to win this turn, although I don't know how likely that was anyway, but now it's doubly less likely. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just bringing Bowser over here. Do these blow up cover? I'm pretty sure they do. I'd rather, like, not take damage whenever possible, because we have a limited amount of HP. Or rather, because we can't, like, heal HP at the beginning of rounds, so that's the main thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Did Bowser get hit by that blast? I don't think so. Cool. Alright, he's not able to hit anything. If he goes right here, he can't. Electro get in, I don't think he's gonna do anything. Alright, Bowser's stuck up here. Rabbit Peach, stuck up here. If you could summon an Oozer, I don't think it's gonna do anything. It's not even worth wasting our time doing that. I am fine with that. We should be able to win before anyone spawns out of those portals. Alright, got a darkness eye with that. I think... Oh, hold on, Bowser could have just stayed where he was to get a team jump with Rabbit Mario. Hold on. There we go. Wanna maximize my team jump potential. I thought there was an eyeball down here. Thought there was one down this way. Thought there was one. Thought there wasn't. Can we hit that one? Come on, Rabbit Mario, you need some redemption. Don't think he's able to hit this one, guys. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm gonna make sure everyone's in position before I shoot any shots, just so we don't lock our movement. Alright, we're good. When did we defeat three? I thought we only got two. The Mecha Koopa got one. No, I guess so. I guess we got three. Oh well. Alright! That was nice and quick. We really speed run through these early levels. Like, it's been 13 minutes. I've been playing fairly slow. And yet we still have already beaten two out of ten levels in the tower. I do wonder if there's- this is something random that I wondered. Uh, I'm kind of focusing. Hold on. This is something random I wondered in between episodes, is if it- there's like a different final boss depending on what the tower decides. Because I did notice that the like criteria for winning the final battle is defeat the giant enemy, not the giant flower Tony, just the giant enemy, which is very generic. And it's like, okay, why are you being so vague and generic? Is it because it could be randomly be a different giant enemy? Just a thought I had. All right, we got two sparks from that. Let's see if there's anything we can buy here. We got pow blocks on sale. We could take a couple pow blocks. Some super mushroom bags. A healer, and we don't have any money for any more cards. The cards are fun. I don't think there's anything I want to sell. Actually, cl cleansing elixir. Yeah, I don't tend to find those very useful. Random damage reduction. Let's go with the strong man. All right, what options have we got here? Rewards Mario. We've already had Mario on our team before. Okay, so there's no way. There's no way to actually get a new Sparker character that we haven't had on our team before. So I'm going to grab Mario just because it's still nice to have another character, even if it's not a new one, that'll help us 100% the Tower of Doom. Got a couple Splash Tonys. 
And a couple squashers. One squasher. Okay, what are you guys weak to? Electricity? Electricity. Let's swap things up. Let's go Rapid Rosa instead of Bowser. Uh, hold on. I do that from here, not from Sparks. <laughs> Exosphere. Exosphere can go here. We do need Electro Gavin, that's for sure. Oh, I think that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't really matter who has what spark in the situation, I think. We do have some skill tree points we can spend. I know we have to up crit chance so we can get punch frenzy. We have to, to get no limits, we have to up our weapon damage, which I'm fine with doing that. Up our crit chance so we can unlock punch frenzy. I'll wait till we have enough skill points to actually get punch frenzy. Counter blow I'm not too worried about. I guess one movement range, one extra health for now. Those will probably be changed at some point. Healing jump, yes please. Crit chance, weapon range. Final hit does more damage, sure. Nah, upping your heal is probably better. We got mega heal, plus 10 heal effect. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I can't turn that down. That's the wrong button. It's right, not R. Glide boost, movement range, that's just... NUI, ooh, I think I gotta go NUI dash. Boom. That's just wildly good. Damage landing, glide boost. I don't really care about any of that. Weapon range, damage drop off. I think that could be pretty good. Have him do more damage. Bit more weapon range, it's not the best. All right, all right, some nice level ups. All right, I feel like we've really been taking our time with the last couple battles, which I'm fine with. It's been good fun, but let's try to speed run these a bit. See how fast we can do it. That, that, that doesn't work. I was trying to press X to run like you can in the hub. That's not how it works. Oh gosh, that's actually a lot of HP. Okay. Freaking peach! Yeah. Oh yeah, when you deal damage to them, they like build up basically Incineroar's Revenge from Smash Bros. And in case you don't know what that is, it basically means the more you damage them, the more they'll damage you. Oh, I forgot that NUI'd. I was literally thinking about that two seconds ago, how that NUI'd. All right, what's your ability? If attacked, move toward the defender. Oh, okay. And then Berserker Fury. I forgot Splash Tonys would chase after you. I'm freaking glad I checked. So I kind of like don't want to do that. What's the movement range? It should end somewhere around here, despite what it says. So if we all just like go up here, I'm not totally sure. Here, I think Rabbit Mario. Hold on, there's a freaking bug on my screen. Ew, yuck, yuck, yuck. I think I'm gonna go burn attack. We're gonna. Pow! 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 Uh-oh. Ow, ow, ow. Pain, pain, pain. Ow. Ooh, ooh, pain. Alright. Rabid Rosalina. We're gonna put back here. Okay, maybe not that far back there. Maybe a little farther forward. Alright. I'm fairly sure she'll be safe there. Oh, yeah. She's so good. She is so okay here. Nice. Brits in there. And Rabbit Peach should just be able to do the same thing. Although, okay, we gotta keep in mind. That guy is honestly not a problem. This one, however, remember, it, we could attack them now and be totally fine, but then they're gonna move again next turn. That That's what we wanna watch out for. Can we get far enough away where that after two movement turns, they won't reach us? Wow, how many tiles is that? That's like four tiles of movement, right? So we go one, two, three, four. That's four out here. Forming a circle, I think she should be safe. And then maybe next turn when they're closer, Rabbit Peach can try to get an Electromageddon on, or whatever on both of them. All right, that could be good. I don't think there's anything else I want to do on this turn. Oh, kind of forgot you were here. And you. Actually, I didn't realize there was a medic there in the first place. Oh, no! Okay, she got one-shotted! There goes our only use of their weakness, which is electric. Cool. 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 Uh, note to self, don't get hit. Don't get hit. 
for having Mario even able to use his punch. I mean, he's dead meat if he does that. He simply is dead. I just realized how much more health he has in it than the other two. Oh my goodness. So, what I'm gathering... Is that we're in a bad situation. Okay. I have an idea to try to cheese some extra damage out of these guys. Rabid Mario effectively cannot use his attack unless he has, like, that high ground advantage he did before. Not entirely sure what happened there, but it worked out. Worry. Okay. Perfect, perfect. This is gonna work. So we can boom. We can get in a dash and then still team jump away. I mean, let me make sure. If we're right here, let's just say we moved, like, a tiny bit forward. I'm not gonna pinpoint that movement right now. No, we are very much in the kill zone. Okay, Red Mario cannot attack. I think I should have brought Bowser instead. <laughs> I could Exosphere. Ooh, should have done that. Now I don't think they're both in range. Neither of them are actually. Okay, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I think next turn I'm gonna cook. Now, I know her weapon range isn't phenomenal. Yeah, no, she's totally porked. She's totally porked. All right, pass the turn. Watch this, I'm gonna cook. The squasher is just going back and forth. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, I ideas, ideas, ideas. Pyrostar is not able to be used, which is kind of bad. I'm going to I'm just gonna go for it and hope things somehow work out. I'm not gonna overthink it. Because he cannot use Pyrostar, he may as well use counter blow. Whoop, pow! Wait, but they're gonna attack again after counter blow. Um, that may have sealed his fate. That's great. Alright. Let's at least make sure Rabbit Rosalina is out of the range of their attacks. I'm not sure how that works. Wow! I'm used to there being five hits. Thank goodness we managed to destroy the portal. It was a matter of luck whether or not that worked. Okay, not amazing. I think he's porked. Yeah, I very much think he's porked. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. He lives. I don't think he's gonna live anymore. I don't, oh my gosh. He survived three hits from that. Go Rabbit Mario. So he succeeded in dealing like zero da- Oh yeah, cause the freaking medic. Cause the freaking medic, we didn't even deal any damage with that. We can't do that or we're cooked. Yeah, I think, I think this might be doable, but I don't really want to. I think I want to go into this with a better team. We want to go in here with Bowser. We have Mario, right? No, we don't. We get Mario after we win this battle. Okay, no rabid Mario, no rabid Mario allowed. We definitely want Electro, Electro, get it, whatever. We want Exosphere for shenanigans we were just trying to pull a moment ago. Wild Claw Master could be really good, actually. Or Uzer Master, doesn't really matter which. I think Wild Claw Master is slightly better. And now we should actually be able to upgrade our sparks now that I think about it. Boom, 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 consume. I don't think I needed to press the button one at a time like that. There we go, that's much better. And I'll level you up too. No, num num. All right, level ups. We still already all used our skill tree as we did just like five minutes ago. We are, we know that. We're going to start the battle. All right, cover's gonna get annihilated because of Bowser, but I'm not that worried about it. What's exactly our first play? Maybe just a, use Sky Rain Shock as soon as possible so that it can be recharged by the time the second Splash Tony comes into play. I think that's a good idea, instead of waiting to get them both at once. 
Rip cover. Deal some damage there. Hmm. So if I put Rabid Rose... In, I think, yeah, Rabid Rosa would be safe. I'm fairly su sure about that. What we can do is this. And then I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do after this, but I'm, I'm cooking. And then we could Wild Claw Master or we could Mecha Koopa. Rabid Mecha Koopa. And I think we're going to Wild Claw Master just because that's a longer cooldown. So we want to use that sooner. I think we just let him fight. As I said, trying not to overthink things so much. Maybe, maybe they'll live. No. Rip. Actually, I could summon Rabid Mecha Koopas now, and then the Splash Tony just wouldn't chase after me at all. We could just defend this position, actually, and everyone except Rabid Peach could get an, at an attack. I think. Okay, so if these two hide back here. I do not think... If we go one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, hold on. One, two, three, four. I am fairly sure that next turn, these two would be safe. If not, then that's really bad. But I think they'll be fine. Let me make sure. Yep. They're good. Alright, and Bowser's just gonna kinda hide back here. Actually, I think I'm going to intentionally stay back a little bit. Make sure they can't reach the splash, the, the splash tummy. Because there's something, I think this would work out anyway, but I wanna make sure it does. You'll see. I'm cooking. So I can just hurry up and move. There we go. I want to throw them and make sure we can hit that barrel as well. Excuse me? I guess it doesn't count unless you hit them directly. That's dumb. The barrel just barely isn't being affected. Okay, we're one. Oh yeah, dashes exist. Oh, whoa, whoa, what just happened? What? I dashed the splash, Tony. If we'd gotten in another dash, this would have been it. We would have defeated the Splash Tony in one turn, which would have been wild. I... What happened? I guess the Splash Tony somehow went into the Rabid Mecha Koopa's range because it was just barely outside of it, but then my dash caused it to be within the range, and then... I don't know, but they're frosted, so I'm not worried about where I stand. Although, here is better, because, you know, we want to advance that way. And standing here will let us do that. Or I could just move Bowser down here. Honestly, that works too. And then I'm not worried about that Splash Tony down there. Just in case the medic tries to pull something, I'll hide behind cover, but I'm not too worried about that. I believe only the Squasher was affected. Not, yeah, not that Splash Tony. All right, I'm not going to use Rabbit Rosalina's dash because she's got a valuable dash. Boop. All right, let's move everyone down here. And maybe we could just try and do something similar as to what we did last turn, although we don't have Sky Range Shock, nor do we have Wild Claw Master. Okay, so we're not going to be able to defeat this Splash Tony, but we should still be able to do some damage. I'm just going for it. And then I think... Okay, no. She is not safe right there. So if she moves back a little bit, here she should be safe. Okay, here she should be safe. And then Bowser is going to get a dash in. And then move back here. Actually, we're going to get a dash in with her as well. Because I don't think we're going to do any NY shenanigans. Keep moving forward just a little bit, just to make sure we're as out of range of the enemy as possible. <laughs> Excuse me, there was a bit of a burp mixed in with that. 
Was that no crits? Oh, that's rigged. I'm realizing this is a bad idea. I mean, Bowser can move, like, super far away. I don't even think this is gonna hit, though. Plus, there's a bunch of other enemies that are problematic down here. But yeah, look, that doesn't even hit. So, I'm not doing that. If I go over here, I don't think that's gonna be able to hit. Bowser is, like, never able to hit the enemy. Bowser's kind of unfun to play with sometimes. Uh, unfun is a little harsh, but not as fun as possible. Okay, so yeah, Bowser's porked if he does this. What's anyways range? Bowser cannot hit the enemy and then Rabbit Rosalina use NUI. That's not an option. Unless he goes up here. I know what it says. If we go, I think Bowser should be safe. And it actually will hit. I'd say we go for it. Nice, very much surviving. Do we want an NUI or Fortify? NUI is a five turn cooldown. I say we just go for NUI. Ow. All right, that was a fairly good turn. Nice and simple. Not a big fan of another portal showing up, or a portal this is the first portal of this match. We're gonna use all our dashes real quick, just so I don't forget to do that. Boop. And, boop. Hold on, move. I wanna line everyone up on this one here. Okay. Bowser cannot hit both of them. He can't, it doesn't make any sense. Here, it doesn't hit the portal, but here it does hit the flower, Tony. I mean, splash, Tony, I don't get that. Okay. So if Bowser's up here, I think he'll be fine. No, no, he will not be, he'll be dead. Here, he'll be fine. So I think I just go for it, right? I think so. Bam! And then, okay, they're not actually gonna chase after me because they were NUI. Okay then, that's a really good tip. I wasn't totally sure about that. Now I really wanna get the portal. I also really wanna get the, the splash Tony. I think I might have to focus on the, on the portal though. Okay, yeah, she's totally safe back there. Bam, bam, bam. Take it slow. No reason to rush defeating the Splash Tony, except that it makes me feel like a gamer. Except for that, there's no reason to rush it. <laughs> Alright, pass the turn. Alright, couple dashes gets us a little bit closer. Ooh, that was actually really not smart. I should have left the NUI there, because what we just learned last turn of them not moving. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. We work with that. That Splash Tony and the, even the Squasher are about to come into play. Pe Ragged Peach will definitely be safe here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's get a team jump with Bowser. He's gotta come rejoin the gang. And he's just gonna go as far as he can. Boom! All right, he could not get in that shot there. He might be able to if he was behind this cover, but Rabbit Peach is already there. Leave some rabid mech koopas here so that while they're walking towards us, they're gonna get blown up. I have no objections to that. Gotta admit, really wish they would just have all the rabid mech koopas move at once. It's not the end of the world, but it's just annoying and would have been an easy fix. 
Okay, now I say, because I don't want to have to wait to watch all the explodey goodness, we just activate it all now. Oh, that actually got rid of some shields. Okay, I definitely remember that those were there. Will she be safe if she hides here? I think so. Worst case scenario, the medic hits her, but she's not gonna... She'll live that. Ooh, she can't attack, though, unless she's super close. And that's a position I'd rather not be in, so I think I'm just gonna hide her back here. All right. Not an amazing turn, but not a bad one either. Nice. I'll take that. Not ideal. No, not a portal. Okay. I think I might NUI dash this Tony at the end of the turn. Should I just do it now? I, I don't think there's a reason not to just do it now. We're just gonna leave that Splash Tony there. And deal with everything else right now. You can not hit both the portal and the Splash Tony at the same time. Rabbit Rose has got the strongest shot out of all of us, but she still can't hit that portal. She can't one-shot it anyway. Could get a Wild Claw mixed in here. That sounds like a good idea. Let's make sure that Rabbit Rosa and everyone's out of the way so the Wild Claw has space to move. So I want to do... I, I want to use as few shots as possible, potentially spend one shot on the medic. Oh, wow. That was strong. Bam. That was a big explosion. Alright, if Rabbit Peach can hit that shot. Okay, I will say, I would have liked to do this. Even if the medic's resistant, it'd be something. However, I'm not about to undo that NUI. And we didn't use our dashes. Okay, so I definitely should have waited to NUI then. My reluctance in using it immediately was well placed. But it's not the end of the world. Now we... Alright, we've got Fortify, but no real reason to use it. Let's end the turn. Not ideal. Less ideal, even. Further, not ideal. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, everyone get your dashes in now, except Rabid Rosalina. Boop. We just gotta snake our way around all the way over here. So it's just the Splash Tony we need to defeat, right? I think I can manage it this turn. I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm not even worried about getting hit next turn because he's, they're just gonna go for the Riptide. And I believe that also does not hit the Medic. Not that I'm that worried about it because Medics are resistant to shock. But I saw for a moment there, I feel like I may as well since I have the option to. Zap, 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 zap. Nice. Saving her dash, actually. I think everyone just, like, attack. And again, I'm not worried, because I know that they're... The Splash Tony is gonna go for the Wild Claw. Oh, wait. No, I kind of forgot that they chase. This could be really bad. This could be really bad. Hold on. Is our Wild Claw too big? Oh my gosh. The Splash Tony can't actually reach us. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Rabbit Peach could do a bunch more damage here. Okay, I should have gotten a dash in with Rabbit Rosa. Oh well. I'm actually going to heal real quick. Remember, we have less healing options thanks to the lack of the heal everyone option. It's the only one we're missing, but it's a big option. So we want to heal whenever possible with Rabbit Peach. Aren't you gonna like attack? Aren't. <laughs> oh, that, that worked out a lot. Why didn't- why, why did- why did the Splash Tony not attack the Hulk Claw? Whatever. I'm not worried about NUI. All we need to do is get one more dash in, I think. And that should be that! 
Nice. That felt good. Solid three battles cleared in one day. Look at us go. Of course, we still got the coin blitz. There's a lot of coins in this one. I don't know if it actually helps to play as Bowser because of this big hitbox. This was a bad idea. There's not a lot up here. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Go! No! Whoa! Okay. Pretty successful coin run. Bum. Level up on everyone. Two skill prisms, 250 star bits, and Mario. You gonna go? Okay, it goed. That's a word. All right. We have reached flo floor four of the Tower of Doom, which we will continue exploring next episode on our quest for 100% completion of the tower. New spark max level unlock. Nice. We got two sparks in there, so absolutely going to do that battle, unless this is like three sparks or something. Nope, just an item and a skill prism. So we're definitely going to be going to this one next episode. Let's check our completion real quick. 42%. All right, we started out at 35 and we got to 42. Now I did just realize something. So I think we may have gotten the first 35% in how many episodes was that? Five? We're going to say it was five episodes. However, I think getting the next 35%, well, to make it easy, we'll just say a third, because 35% is basically a third. The first third took us five episodes, or however many. I think the next third is going to take like seven or eight, and then the next third is going to take a good few more. I just think it's going to take more, because it's just luck whether or not we managed, it lets us get the sparks and heroes and whatnot. Does that make any sense? I hope I'm making sense. I also don't know how you get all nine weapon skins. I'm going to look that up in between episodes because that is interesting to me. So I think it's going to take exponentially longer to get higher and higher percentages because you just have to wait till you encounter each enemy and hero and whatnot. I am I am potentially going to start cutting out battles that don't actually help us with progression just because there's only so long I can play the Tower of Doom for. You guys only want to watch so much, and I understand that. We'll see. We'll find out more next episode. I don't really know what we're going to find out next episode. We're just going to keep doing battles next episode. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I had something to say. I, this is botched. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was losing my train of thought there for a second. I had to sit down and get it collected. Now, this is kind of a good thing that it's going to take exponentially longer to get each third of a percent or whatever. Because I did some math, and getting to 100 total episodes of Sparks of Hope is going to require the Raymond, based on how long I expected the Tower of Doom to go, and how long I expect Last Spark Hunter to go, the Rayman DLC, which I have no idea how long that's going to be, Needs to have, I believe, 14, maybe 17, something like that, episodes to reach a total of 100, which I don't think is super likely. But if we spend more time on the Tower of Doom than I anticipated, we might reach 100 total, and I'm not going to force it. But if this doesn't hit 100, I don't know if anything ever will, and I would like to say I have 100 episodes of a, of a particular Let's Play. That would be sick. But for now, gamers, we're going to end it off here. Make sure to like and subscribe, and remember, kids... Eat your green vegetables!